Hello everyone. Today I'm happy to share more about situation awareness system targeted towards social distancing aspect. We, Shubhangi Asati, Divya Gupta, and myself, Manasi Vigenwar, under the leadership of Professor Lim Grew from iLab at CSU East Bay, developed this social distancing system. So before diving into the functionality of the system, we can see the image at the right hand corner labeled with good 99.88% which indicates that the person standing are following the safe distance practices. So our system is divided into two different subsystems, a direct person detection system as well as a learning based system. In a case of a direct person detection system, we first detect person in an image and then measure distances between them to tell whether they are following a good or a bad practice. A small demonstration of that can be seen in the video over here. Under social distance measure, the application first captures the image and then detect persons and measure distance between those persons. And based on the distances, we can see that it is labeled as good or bad. In this case, it's a bad label. Our next system is learning based social distance measurement. In the case of a learning based social distance measurement, learning module is applied on the entire image rather than explicitly detecting the distances between the persons in an image. So a small demonstration of this system can be seen in a video over here. Under social distance learn, the application captures the image and based on that, it gives the labels whether it's a good practice or a bad. In this case, it's a good one. An example use case of our application would be hospital's waiting room. So in an image at the left hand corner, you can see that there are patients that's waiting on a queue and the receptionist couldn't determine whether they are following the safe distance practices because of the limited situation awareness. So our social distancing application gives the ability of a more situation awareness in such scenario just with an employment of an augmented reality interface with the live video stream of our application, we can see that the patients are following a good practice or a bad practice as seen over here. So we are also live tracing the social distancing instances using our application for the users to have the awareness around the neighborhood. So a live demonstration of this can be seen here. The red color icon indicates it's a bad practice while a green one is for a good practice. And also we can see the location where it's been tracing. Also, if we click on one of the um, icon, we can see the risk and the certainty involved. For neighborhood practice monitoring, we are also keeping the track of the records generated by the application in the background, along with the time and the location. The motivation behind the development of our application is given today's COVID-19 pandemic. The number of cases that is reduced by following social distances is more than 40% as we can see in a graph here. And hence, our social distance awareness system provides information about the risk involved in the geographical areas along with the timestamps. Our application also increases the user's awareness by detecting possible distances between the individuals. And that's really important in today's COVID-19 situation. So we have developed our application using various different stages and we've used Python TensorFlow, which is a machine learning framework, object detection API, and different data sets. On data set, we have done training, and post-training, we have evaluation, and which we have seen whether the results are as per our expectations. Post-evaluation, we are done testing as well as validation on seen as well as on unseen data, and then mobile deployment. In our case, we have done an Android deployment. So for development of our application, we have used some pre-processing models. 
and there are two subsystems dpdm and lsbdm in case of a dpdm person to person measurement is done and then based on that reports are been created in a case of an lsbdm learning model has been applied and then report is been created and then that is given to a firebase backend with the help of the data from the firebase backend visualization has been generated and that visualized output has been given back to android for our users to have a visualization when compared to the lsbdm and dpdm results the performance of lsbdm system at an average is 52.2% and while dpdm would is 77.1% but there are some cases in which lsbdm performs better when compared to dpdm lsbdm takes into the account of the negative spaces in an image while dpdm doesn't do so and hence as shown in the image below we can see that the results of lsbdm is much better as compared to dpdm system is developed to bring awareness among people regarding covid-19 pandemic by detecting people and predicting distances through live capturing there are still more future pending works that can be done to help increase the accuracy of our system some of them are listed here like the clear detection of a person is required for our system and hence some image processing techniques can be applied in future to sharpen those images to increase the accuracy of our system we our system do not have a zoom in capability and hence this can also be one of the future work which can help increase the accuracy of our system to find more information about the application you can visit our github repositories thank you